I'll be very honest with you viewers, Forza has got me really, really worried, but not worried in a bad way. I'm worried for Gran Turismo. In this video, we're going to have a look for the very first time, I think, anywhere on YouTube, all of the incredible tracks that are coming to Forza, starting here at Maple Valley. And this one you can compare with someone like Deep Forest and Gran Turismo 7. But have a look at the track detail going on here. We've got the figure of eight set up at Maple Valley. But look at this. I mean, the amount of uh, detail you have of the side of the track is absolutely insane. And you might think that doesn't matter at all, but it matters for braking references. It matters for the feeling of being immersed as we go here into the BMW M8, I believe it is, at Maple Valley. And there is so much track detail going on. I'm seriously, seriously impressed here. You see the flashes going off in the crowd. You can see the curbs as well have damage on them. They feel unique. Again, that's going to be great to uh, build out references. Even here, look at the crap time. I just don't think you really get these features in GT7. I'm wondering whether this is a step above in the feeling of being on a living, breathing racetrack with sort of people actually there watching, making you feel like you're a star, like a racing driver and at the center of a huge event. And it doesn't always feel like that in Gran Turismo 7, now in the Mazda 787B. Legendary car, absolutely screaming round. And you wanna feel like this is a special moment. And I feel like Forza is gonna be given to us. We're gonna have a look at some more tracks here as well, but I want you to let me know in the comments, what game do you think is gonna have the better track list? Is it gonna be Gran Turismo 7? or Forza Motorsport, I want to hear from you. And I know this video is about tracks, by the way, but can we just take a moment to look at the damage here on this Audi R8? This is way beyond anything you get in Gran Turismo. You can see the cracked uh, window on the other side of the car, the windshield. Uh, look at the reflections, by the way, in the brake disc. You, you don't get that in Gran Turismo. Here we've got a Lamborghini Huracan in the wall as well. I mean, really, and look at the reflections here on the Nissan GTR absolutely unbelievable it, it might you might be watching the thing hang on this doesn't matter when i'm racing i'm not going to be looking at reflections but i can tell you as someone who raced in real life it just adds to that realism and it adds to that feeling of spectacle racing these cars should be the most exciting thing you can do on this planet and the game in my opinion should make us feel like it's exciting it should make us excited to thrill us and sometimes gran turismo 7 can feel a little bit neutral here we go to suzuka and again, you can have a look here at the track detail. So another figure of eight circuit, you've got the iconic Ferris wheel here in Japan. Have a look how they light it up in Forza. You can see the grandstands absolutely packed again. Look at the curb. You've got some of the curb, then a bit of Astro, then the grass. Um, you know, you can, you can really see the, the detailing there on the side of the track. Now compare that with Gran Turismo 7, and it looks a little bit more cookie cutter. It doesn't look as unique if it feels like they're sort of more templates of the same track just built in different biomes if that makes sense whereas that suzuka in forza is actually really 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 impressive watching now the corvette c8 go around a road car in suzuka it should feel exciting you should feel like the back end's coming around struggling to control it that's the sensation that we want weirdly you don't seem to get it in that cockpit view at the moment but again forza saying that's in-game footage you know, I, I'll, I'll reserve my judgment on that, but I thought I'd put some side by side with PSVR 2 on the right hand side to just encapsulate. I think the different vibe that you seem to get in Forza, in uh, Suzuka and Forza, and Suzuka in Gran Turismo 7. Now, it's not always about vibe, sometimes it's about the pure racing, but that was interesting. This footage here at Spa, I mean, very unusual footage. Here's Spa in real life and uh, they haven't replicated that in the game. I'm not sure whether that's too important, you know, what the color of the paint is and whether the grandstand's there, you know, it isn't, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much. But the graphics look quite unusual in this clip. I don't know if it's YouTube compression or something, but you can sort of see the depth of field and the way the car seems to be of different uh, sort of resolution and pixel density to the track in a way. But you let me know what you think about that. Also put some GT7 on the right hand side in mix with. Now we go to Silverstone. I can't compare this to GT7 because Silverstone weirdly is not in GT7. Iconic circuit, one of my favorite circuits. And again, look at the density of the stuff going. If you feel like you're at Silverstone, it looks busy like a Formula One weekend. And I'm all here for this. I race this track a lot in iRacing. It feels completely dead in iRacing. I race it in ATC, it feels a little bit better. 
but I want to be going around feeling like I'm at the British GP circuit and it's a full weekend and I'm living the dream of driving one of my favorite cars and everyone's come out to watch. That's what it's all about. Now here we go to Road America in the Cadillac Hypercar. Absolutely love this car. Seen it in real life, drive it in iRacing. And Road America is a classic track, um, one that uh, people who drive fours a lot will know. Pretty chaotic for track and fours it can be as well. But again, it just feels very authentic, I have to say. I'm looking at the curbs a lot of the time, looking at the detail in the curbs. They all feel different. Sometimes in GT7 it can feel like they're all using the same curb across different tracks, but not here. Not here. I think Forza have, have they actually trumped Gran Turismo when it comes to circuits? I do not know, but we're going to go now to Oak Raceway, which is a uh, going to be a very fun track to drive, Grand Oak Raceway. And you can see here for the first time on this video, some wet weather conditions. Have a look at the reflections. Have a look at the, the way the sky is dramatic. I did some incredible races in Forza Motorsport 7 that were very dynamic, going through storms, coming out of storms. And this is going to apply to every single track in Forza Motorsport. That's not the case in GT7. GT7 have not added wet weather to any track since launch. And I do not understand it. It will never rain at Monza, for example. Um, it will never rain at Brands Hatch for example which seems absolutely crazy because it's always racing at, raining at Brands Hatch when I go there but you can see here again it feels like its own unique track I don't know how they've done it I don't know if it's care and attention I don't know if they're using lots of fancy AI tools now we go to Kyle Army I cannot wait to drive this track in Forza Motorsport this is going to be I think one of the best tracks to drive in South Africa and look at the vistas they've done here I think even the most grand the hardest Gran Turismo cynic would have to step back and say look fair play for Kyle Army. This looks really, really, really authentic. You feel like you're in a completely different place. I mean, you could compare it to somewhere maybe like Laguna Seca and Gran Turismo 7, but if you compare the track detail here and Laguna Seca and GT7, I mean, so much more detail here. Now let's go to Mugello. Cannot wait to drive this again in Forza, going around in a Ferrari. And look at the sunset. I mean, I'm just really excited by a lot of the stuff I'm seeing in Forza and I am a Gran Turismo 7 player I stream a lot of GT7 but you know they, I can't wait to drive these tracks and if the, if the handling and the racing is going to match it then I think there's going to be a lot of FOMO I think there's going to be a lot of FOMO from Gran Turismo players being like hang on you know I, I want to race at Mugello I want to race at Silverstone um, but you can only do what on Forza and I think that's going to be quite divisive actually Again, you can just see here, look at the grandstand, the flash. It's a small details, you know. If you compare this to somewhere like, I don't know, I'm just, uh, Trial Mountain, it's just not the same. You just don't have the vibe going on. Now we go to Eagle Rock Speedway. This is probably a good comparison with somewhere like, is it I don't know, Northern Isle Raceway in Gran Turismo 7? Probably, you know, this, this should just be a oval. But even though it should just be an oval, we've got packed grandstands, we've got people having barbecues in the middle of the track which I absolutely love. If you compare it to somewhere like uh, BB Raceway or Blue Moon Raceway, Blue Moon Raceway just feels so empty in comparison. Now more Forza videos around the screen. Go check these out if you want to see more. I'll see you next time.